everyone, welcome back to Not From This World's Daz tutorial series. Now this week, I'm really excited to show you how to add rips, tears, and holes into your character's clothing. Now what's really cool about this is it adds a lot of realism to your renders. And so this week I've got Milica kind of going back in time. She's got a medieval look to her and she is working with tools and she's got this cute little apron on, but the apron is too perfect. We don't want the apron to be pristine. We want to have it with jagged edges and some holes in it. Now we can make holes, tears, rips, and jagged edges without Photoshop, without spending any money other than what you want to do in DAS. How we're going to do this is with the program that I've used in previous videos, the Photo Editor GIMP. GIMP, remember, is a free program you can download off the internet. It won't cost you a dime, and it works just as good as Photoshop once you know how to use it. So let's get started making some holes in Milica's apron. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the article of clothing I want to add holes to, in this case, it's our apron that she's wearing. And once I select the apron in my scene tab, I'm going to come down to surfaces. Now, the apron uh, is just part of a lot of pieces um, to this garment. And the apron itself, if you look at it, has a lot of different parts and pieces. Now, because I just want to add holes to uh, the front and back and make the bottom kind of jagged like, you know, she's been wearing it a lot as she's been working, I'm going to choose the main apron here. If you want to put holes in other parts, you just have to select those. But I'm just going to select the main apron. I'm going to drop down the menu under main apron, choose base. And then under base, there's base color. And I'm going to just click on the picture, go to browse, and that's going to open up all the textures for my apron. In this case, it actually opens up all the textures for the uh, Alaroon suit. But I'm only interested in the apron, so I'm going to choose the texture for the apron. It's the Alaroon apron base color. I'm going to right click and just go open with GIMP. So we're going to open up our GIMP. GIMP opens up and here is the texture. Okay, so in order to get holes in your clothing, you have to do a couple of things. The first thing is we're going to take our first picture here, the original, and I'm going to do what I did when I added the tattoo to my girl in a previous video, and we're going to add some transparency to this picture. Now in order to do that, remember you need to go first to layer, come down to transparency, and click on the add alpha channel. All right, once you do that, just double check that uh, it's selected and then go to your tool tab, go to selection tools and then drop down to by color select. Select that tool and double check that your anti-aliasing is checked and your draw mask is checked. Those two things need to be checked. And now we're ready to add a transparency. Now within this tool, I'm going to come over and I'm going to select in the texture, not the background, but in the texture. And I'm going to make that texture all pink. I'm holding down my left mouse button 
can tell everything gets pink and then I just unclick it. You can see now all of this is highlighted and you just simply hit your delete key. Now when I hit the delete key I just made the entire texture transparent. That's what remember those little boxes mean is that everything is transparent. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to layers and you can see that this is the this is the uh, texture that I have been manipulating. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to go to duplicate layer. All right, I'm going to hit duplicate layer and now I have two identical layers all right now with the bottom layer i'm going to select it and then i'm going to come over here and i'm just going to hit uh, select all and that gets rid of the highlight and then i'm going to come over to my uh, bucket tool click on my bucket tool click on my colors make sure that the left color is white and then I'm going to just click and make my texture white so I'm just clicking on it I probably don't have to select everything on here because I'm only going to be making holes on the front and the back these are like the belt loops and some of the more intricate parts of the uh, garment. So I'm not really worried about that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and select as much as I can. That looks really good. All right, so now that I have that layer selected with my texture being white, I'm gonna go up to the original, click on it again. You can always tell which layer you're looking at because it'll be darker. And I'm gonna hit uh, right click and duplicate this layer one more time. Now I have three layers. So my original layer is in the middle. The second layer I created is below. And then the third layer I uh, created is up above. Now with this third layer I created that's at the top, now I can start making my holes. The first thing I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna make the background black. So I'm gonna uh, select my color, make that left box black, keep my bucket tool selected, and I'm just gonna click until the background's all black. Okay, now I am ready to make whatever holes, jagged edges, rips, tears that I want. Now, GIMP comes with a lot of different paintbrush tools, and you can see them over here on the right-hand side. If you don't see them over here, just come over here next to the bucket tool is the paintbrush tool, click it, and then you, you'll see it right here, and you can select a brush that you want to use. Now, you know, it just varies. You're going to have to kind of play with this a little bit, so I'm going to select this brush and it's not very big so I'm going to increase it to about I don't know let's go to about 500 just gonna raise this up make this big make my brush big so see now it looks pretty big and so this is the front of the apron and this is the back of the apron and so the first thing I'm going to do is, with my color black, all I have to do is start clicking on it, see? But I don't want to leave it really gray like that. What I want to do, I'm just going to hit Control Z and get rid of that. What I want to do is wherever I have the hole, I want to make it really dark. We're talking black. So I'm going to click on it, click on it, and just make a really black hole. Alright, I can do that right here, I can do it right here, let's just make this really black. I can come over here, let's make another hole, uh, you know, let's vary it, I'll um, grab a different brush, 
And let's put a hole right here. Maybe double it up so it looks like it's kind of a darker hole. All right, so now I've got holes in my texture. Actually, it's gonna be a hole in the whole garment. We can also make jagged edges, holes, rips, and tears using our lasso, the free select tool. So if I select the free select tool, uh, I'm gonna, let's make the uh, bottom really jagged, like, you know, she's been working hard and it's frayed, it's torn. I'm gonna zoom in to about 100%. I'm gonna drop down. This is the back of our apron. And with my free select tool, the little lasso, see I can make a jagged edge. Now when we do this, we gotta come back around and connect the whole thing. Pretty cool. Let's go to our bucket and we're just going to make it really jagged. Let's click it a couple times. Go to select all. And now you can see it's really jagged. We should probably add some more jaggedness. Oh, whoops. And it undo that. I don't want to be on bucket. I want to be on the lasso. Let's bring the rips up to this big hole. So if I come up, maybe like this. What's cool is you can just play with this. You know, you don't like it, change it. That's so what's awesome about GIMP and Daz is we can we can change, manipulate things as much as we want. All right, so I see I can add that. All right, get rid of the um, dotted lines by going select all. Now, if you notice, this looks pretty good, but we've got these artifacts. See how there's a little bit of white that's below our jagged edge? We want to get rid of that because that is going to show up as like little pieces of fabric floating in space inside Daz. So to get rid of it, I'm just going to select a nice dark uh, paintbrush and we can just go in and click these artifacts over. Now the same thing is gonna kinda happen here. You see how it's faded? Uh, you might wanna just kinda get rid of a little bit of that. You're gonna see it. It's, it's gonna be visible in Daz Studio. So, you know, it's whatever you prefer. Wherever it's super black is gonna be our hole. I right, see that's going to be floating in space. This is now floating in space. That's floating in space. This is going to be a sharp edge. So maybe get rid of it like this. Get rid of it like this. Just kind of round those edges off. You want to make it look like it's a tear. All right. Uh, that looks pretty interesting. Let's, uh, let's see what this looks like when we get it into DAS. Now, this is the back, so I'm gonna have to do the same thing to the front here. So, I'm gonna hit my lasso, and let's just make some jagged edges. Yeah, that looks probably better. Hit my bucket tool, bucketize it. It really look jagged. Go back to my my uh, lasso. I can add a can add a nice tear right here, maybe. Bucket tool. Hit the bucket inside. Hit it a couple times. Make it really jagged. We'll go to our select all tool. Okay, maybe um, heck, let's add another. bucket tool. So hit the bucket a couple times, make it dark. Make it as dark as you can. That's going to be a nice hole. Okay, so now we've got this jagged, we got the uh, artifacts. So I'm going to go back to my paintbrush. And we're just going to get rid of all of those 
those artifacts because we don't want them as a part of the texture. It's kinda... yeah. Okay. All right. Now, if I come back, let's zoom out. Go to 12%. So now you can see I've got some holes, some jagged uh, areas. All right, now when we save it, don't forget, you don't just save it. You've got to change the name, otherwise you're going to corrupt your original texture. So I'm going to go to File, Export, and then I'm going to name this, uh, it's called Alarune Apron Base Color, it's a JPEG. I'm going to just add to this, and let's call it uh, Ripped Test. All right, and I never save it in the original folder that the textures are saved in. So I'm going to save it in my OneDrive. I have a OneDrive folder called Textures. Remember, you can save your textures anywhere you want. Just don't move them because when you open up Daz, um, once you save it, then it won't find it. So you, you have to keep it in the same place. But I'm going to put it into this texture folder. Hit export. And then export again. And boom. So let's leave this open. But we're going to go back to DAS. Now once I'm back in DAS, I'm going to get rid of this. So we hit cancel. I'm going to keep on the apron in the scene tab. I'm going to choose that main apron again, see we were on base, but now I'm going to come down to Geometry, select your Geometry tab, and then the very top you'll see Cut Out Opacity, click on the arrow, go to Browse, go to your folder you just saved your texture in, and see it's right here. I'm going to double click it, and boom! we've got holes now in our apron pretty darn cool so you can see it's all torn you know maybe it's a little too uniform but hey that looks pretty cool so we're adding some realism and see if I let's just take Milica here we'll spin her around so you can see the back Ah, uh, the back looks really good so see, we've added this new element to our rendering. You can see this hole looks good, but it probably wouldn't be attached like that. So if I want to change it, let's just go back into GIMP. I'm going to uh, zoom in. Let's go back to 100%. And we've got these areas here. I didn't really like how they looked, so I'm gonna go back to my little lasso tool, the free select, and let's select this and get rid of that, and then we'll kinda of come up, get rid of that. So now they, we won't see that texture in between bucket get rid of that all right and uh, you know maybe we should add another hole over here so just for fun let's select a paintbrush tool and let's add a hole maybe what do you think right here oh See, if I still have my lasso selected, I won't be able to do anything. That's when select all comes handy. Select that now. Okay, now I got a nice hole there. Uh, maybe we should shrink it. Add a partial tear here. Might be overdoing it now. Got that artifact. Get 
get rid of that. Okay. I don't know. That looks pretty good. Now remember in Daz, if I uh, zoom back out here, we'll look at it. So remember in Daz, you have to save something new as a different name. So it, you know, this texture, we can't just name it the same thing. So I'm going to go back to export. I'm going to name this test two. Export it. Hit export again. Okay, now when I go into DAS, I'm going to just make sure my apron selected. Go to main apron, geometry. Going to come down, click on my picture, go to browse. And then this is the one I want. And boom, see I have more rips and tears. Pretty cool how this works. Now you can add this anywhere you want. You know, if you want to rip up here, just put a tear or a rip up higher. So I just kind of made it on the bottom just to keep this simple. And let's run another eye ray test. All right, so now you can definitely see there's some holes. So I think we're ready to do a render. Let's go back to texture shaded. I actually already have a scene ready. I have it hidden, so I'm going to open it up. And we're going to open this like that. like and let's do a render Okay, so here's the finished product. Uh, hope you like it. I made a few other views so that you could check them out, see how the rips, tears, and holes in her apron work. Great, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your patronage. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I'd love to hear what you think about my work, and I hope you have a lovely day. Until next time, take care.